Hi, this is Melody Payne at MelodyPayne.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a very easy way to make PDF worksheets digital so that you can use them for online learning in online piano lessons. Your students will need an iPad, the GoodNotes app for iPad or another PDF annotation app such as Notability or something like that. I'll be using GoodNotes because it's my favorite. And you'll also need PDF worksheets that have been obtained legally from a variety of different sources, for example, from my shop at melodypain.com or from my TPT store. First of all, purchase a resource or download one that you've already purchased and put it on your computer, put it on your iPad, put it somewhere where you can find it. And then get that resource to your student. Once the student has a copy of the resource, here's what's going to happen. I'm in GoodNotes right here. You can see that I have different folders and different things going on in here. I'm going to tap New, and then I'm going to Import. You can see Import at the bottom here. Navigate to the folder where your files are stored. For me, I store all my files in Dropbox, so I just navigate to my Dropbox folder. We're going to start with this set called Bach to the Basics. Bach to the Basics is now in GoodNotes on my iPad and you can see it here is opened up. So what we're going to do now is explore the annotation tools. See the pencil in the upper right corner? It's circled and now there's a line through it. Make sure the pencil has that line through it so it looks almost like an X and this blue bar is at the top. That means that you have access to your annotation tools. So we're going to scroll over and use the colorful pages. You can rotate your iPad if you want to, but I'm going to leave it this way for the video. Select one of your options. I'm selecting the pen tool and you can select your different ink colors here. Let's use green to go with the green page and students can write their name here. And then they can draw a line to connect each word to the correct symbol or each symbol to the correct word. First of all, dotted half note, draw a line here, base clef, draw a line here. And it's just as easy as that. If you want your student to send the completed work back to you, they can simply take a screenshot by holding the upper volume button and the power button on top of the iPad. And there's the screenshot. Then tap the screenshot and in the upper right corner, there is the share button. Before they share, you might want to have them crop like this. If you want that, that would be very easy. So you can have them crop. If they complete the worksheets on their iPad vertically, they won't have to crop. So there's a little hint for you there. Then all you have to do, tap the share button and then share it with whomever you want to share it. If the student has you as a contact, then they just tap a picture of you or tap your name and share it directly with you. Or if you'd rather, they can send it to you via email or Dropbox or any of the apps that you have on your iPad. I'm going to share it using text messages. Then you can type the name of whomever you want and send it right along. So that will be sent right inside of your text message. Another way you can have your students share the pages with you is by using the share button in the upper left in your GoodNotes app. This is GoodNotes 5, so GoodNotes 4 might be a little bit different but the premise will be the same. Tap the share button in the upper left. It's the square with the arrow coming out of the top. And then you can export this page, export all if you want the student to complete all of the assignments. So here we go, export this page. Then they can flatten it, send it as an image, send it as a GoodNotes file. Let's send it as a PDF, export. And then a list of contacts will show up right up there and different ways that you can export. So I'm also going to send this in messages. And then there is the PDF file right there. It's very easy to share, very easy to get these things back and forth between teacher and student if you both have the GoodNotes app, super easy. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. This is Melody Payne at melodypayne.com.